On this video, I'm going to try to give some insights on how to solve the vehicle routing problem, which is very similar to the travel salesman problem. And I'm going to do that by using genetic algorithms and any logic as the simulation tool. So what is the vehicle routing problem? Well, it is an optimization problem that assumes that you have an origin facility that has a fleet of trucks and you have some suppliers spread around the city. The idea is to use the trucks efficiently in order to go to the different locations or different suppliers in order to minimize the time it takes to go to the suppliers or minimize the costs. This concept is also associated by what we call a milk run, which is this idea of transporting mixed goods from different suppliers to one unique customer. So what I'm going to try to do here is to solve the simplest version of this problem, which is having one truck that is associated with many different suppliers. And we are going to use genetic algorithms to find the perfect path for this truck. But what is a genetic algorithm? Genetic algorithms is one of the most commonly used evolutionary algorithms, which is this kind of uh, heuristic algorithms that uses nature's ideas in order to optimize anything based on some sort of heuristics. In the case of the genetic algorithm, we used the idea of chromosomes with a number of genes in them. For this particular problem, the chromosome will be represented by the track and the genes in the chromosome will be represented by a supplier that needs to be visited by the track. The idea behind the genetic algorithm is the following. We generate a number of tracks. This is the population that represents the first generation. Each track represents a chromosome and each track has a random routing schedule. Each track travels around using the route assigned so we can evaluate the fitness of that track. We select a number of offspring to generate using the tracks available. A pair of tracks will generate a child track using crossover operations. To see some options on what a crossover operation is, I'm going to refer you to this paper, Comparison of 8 Evolutionary Crossover Operators for the Vehicle Routing Problem, that shows several crossover operators that you can use in order to solve this genetic algorithm problem. But I'm going to explain only one of them, which is the one that I used here, which is the alternating edge crossover. In general, it is better to combine different crossover operations, but in this case, I'm using only one. So let's check how this alternating edge crossover works. You start with two parents, P1 and P2, who have different routes that they need to follow and the idea is to generate an arc you use the first parent with the arc 51 then you look in the second parent where the one is and you use the arc 19 then you look on the first one where is the nine and you use the arc 96 and so on until you get to the second parent on number three which is followed by six but six is already in our new route. So instead of using the arc 36, we will choose a random supplier from the ones who haven't been chosen. And in this case, it will be seven. So then you go back to the parent number one and you go to the arc seven, eight, and then to the parent number two, to the arc eight, four, and the offspring is generated. Okay, so let's get back to our offspring generation. And after the crossover operation, there is something else that can happen with a certain probability, which is a mutation of the genes. So there are three mutations that I use in this work that can happen with same probability. And these are the sub mutation, the scramble mutation and the inversion mutation. The swap mutation is simple, you just grab two genes randomly and you swap them. The scramble mutation is that you grab a string of genes inside the chromosome and you change the order randomly. 
And finally, the inversion mutation in which you grab a random string inside the chromosome and you invert it. So with this, we have a brand new second generation tracks with their defined routes. And what we will do is we will send these tracks to follow the routes and that will give us a new fitness function that will go be compared to all the tracks in existence and we will remove the worst ones in order to generate a new population that will create new offspring. Okay, enough with all the theory and it's time to see the results. So we have five parameters that we can modify here. The first one is the maximum number of generations. We saw in our examples how we build two generations. So this is telling us how many generations as a maximum we will allow the algorithm to get to. The second one is the population. So how many tracks you want to use in order to find uh, the best routes. The third one is how many suppliers you want to visit. In the simulation, there are around 100 suppliers, but we want to use only a few of them in order to see what happens. The fourth parameter is the mutation probability. So with what probability there will be a mutation after an offspring is generated. And the fifth one is the crossover fraction. This will define what percentage of the population will have offspring. And the parents who have offspring are chosen randomly. And I was running the simulation now and you see how the route, the optimal route became better and better. But let's run a new example. So you can see here in orange the origin and in red the suppliers you're using and slowly the algorithm is finding best, better and better routes and on the graph you can see how the best fitness evolves we're min minimizing the objective function which is how much time it takes to travel around and you can see in orange the average fitness for the current population of trucks and you can see already that before 200 generations, we have a pretty good routing already. Now let's choose a third example and let's just have fun watching how the routes become better and better. So there is we solve the problem using genetic algorithms. Of course, this is just one of the ways you can use to tackle the same exact vehicle routing problem. You can also use maybe reinforcing learning, you can use other evolutionary algorithms or other optimization methods, but this is something that works pretty well. Of course, this is a simple version of something that might be more complex and maybe I will do a more complex version in the future.